G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me, and in this video, we're going to see what happens when you grow potatoes with eggs as fertilizer. That's right, we're going to dig down and see what harvest we get from eggs and potatoes. Let's get into it. In this small raised round garden bed right here is the end of a potato crop that I planted three months ago. But not just any potato crop. This potato crop I planted on top of duck eggs. And in a minute, I'm gonna dig them up and see what type of harvest we get. But before I do that, let me explain why I use duck eggs in the garden at all. Because I understand that for some, it seems like a waste of a good egg. And I don't wanna get egg on my face, trying to duck for cover, answering questions and angry posts in the comments section below. There are several simple reasons why I use duck eggs in the garden as fertilizer. Firstly, we don't like eating duck eggs. We find the taste too strong and earthy and although they might be good for baking we don't do a lot of cake baking here anyway so we just don't utilize them in that way secondly although we do incubate duck eggs to produce more ducks there are only so many we can do at a time so we tend to get a surplus thirdly our mother duck down there is a terrible mother and won't sit on her eggs herself to hatch out her own but she is an excellent layer, usually laying an egg a day. And these eggs can be laid anywhere in the pen, often becoming cracked or soiled, unable to be used for cooking or incubation. So apart from giving them to the dog, which we also do, they're good for his coat, he likes eating them, but there's only so many he can eat. The other thing I like to do is use them in the garden as fertilizer because I'm finding that they do make good plant food. Plants get nutrition from an egg just like we do, except we don't eat the shell. Well, not usually, unless you're really bad at cracking eggs into the pan, which oh, I must admit sometimes happens to me. But plants actually do absorb the shell. So it's good to have that in the garden also. The shell contains calcium, which the plants do absorb and through that absorption, it gives them protection from disease and also strengthens the cell walls in the plant and makes them grow stronger. So how did I use the eggs with the potatoes? Well, first of all, I just dug a trench down about a foot deep. You might need to use a container or a wheelbarrow to temporarily keep some of the soil, depending on the garden bed space you have. Then place the eggs close together in the trench I think you want a decent amount of eggs to provide enough food for the whole growing season. I haven't followed up with any extra fertilizer this whole last 12 weeks. So I would allow for at least three to four eggs per potato, roughly. You know, no, there's no real science here or measurement. I'd say three to four eggs would be plenty per potato. Crack the eggs so that the roots of the plants can get access. I mean, the last thing you want too is to be digging this back up with a whole egg still sitting there, half fossilized and rotten, and then exploding as you try to harvest your potatoes. That wouldn't be very nice at all. It'd be quite stinky. I think that would probably put me off potatoes for quite a while. So make sure you do crack all the eggs. Then cover slightly with soil, maybe an inch on top. That just gives you a little bit of a barrier between the potato and the cracked eggs. And place the potatoes on top, evenly spaced as normal, you know, between 25 and 30 centimeters apart. Once you've done that, cover the whole thing with soil. And I also like to put a deep mulch on top. This just prevents weeds from growing, but it also gives extra growing space for the potatoes as they grow up. And if any potato tubers that are forming rise above the soil, which can happen, the mulch on top usually prevents them from getting sunburnt and going green. Water the potatoes as usual. And our potatoes here, these ones were growing great, except one morning I came out and this is what I saw. Imagine me coming out and seeing a potato crop de-headed like this. See that? See that? That's what it should look like. Potatoes have been growing great. See that? You know what's done this? Decimated this side 
See how that side is nice. That side has been decimated. Look where it is. It's like someone has deliberately come out and chucked, ripped them off, ripped the tops off and chucked them on the ground. And in, in fact, that is precisely what's happened. Not someone, but some animal. And that animal is a cockatoo, it's a bird. Sometimes they'll come in and they'll just target something just to destroy. And here they targeted that side of the potatoes and they deliberately pick them off, I think, in spite. I think they actually think about what they're doing and they just want to destroy it. And they just snip them off and throw them on the ground. And they probably think, that'll stuff that guy around. <laughs> well, those potatoes seem to have recovered pretty well from getting gnawed off by the cockatoos. Remember, this is my experiment bed where these potatoes, the only fertilizer they have is duck eggs. So they're looking really nice, looking good, very good. Obviously that side is still growing better because it wasn't gnawed off. You can see where the damage was, but see that? That's where it was gnawed off at. Right there, and in a couple of weeks, two weeks, they have grown back. We've actually got a few black cockatoos watching us today doing this video. They're always around. They don't usually smash our crops. Thankfully, they didn't come back and decimate the rest of it. And it grew on quite well after that. So I'll be interested to see, you know, how they went, even though that crop mid-season got smashed down. Anyway, let's stop mucking around and let's get into it and start digging. Just get rid of some of these plants first. Let's hope I don't stab too many. Oh, you can see some of the eggs here. Still, look at the root growth around and through. See, you can see the, the feeder roots getting the best they can out of that egg. Look at it going right through there. That'll be good just to be dug straight back into this bed once this is finished. This would have been the old potato. This would have been the seed potato. All used up. Plenty of worms. Look at them. They'd be feeding on the eggs as well. The extra feed here in the bed, keeping them nice and healthy. Always good to see worms in your garden bed. Nice young ones. Yes, as expected, I'm getting more out of this other side and better potatoes. Oh, look at these rippers. Oh my goodness. Hokey crikey. Let's see if we can find any more stonkers. As we get over to this, oh, ho, ho, hokey crikey. Boy, my hands are pretty big too and that fits right in. It's like a, it's like a softball. Wow. Nice. Oh, I knew it. I knew I'd stab one. Every time I at least get one. Oh well, what can you do? More egg, more evidence of root growth all the way through it. 
I mean, you'd expect that, of course, but it's good to see the roots accessing it and getting through and even concentrating around the fertilizer source. All right, I think we've just about got them all. Smooth this over and let's have a look and see what type of harvest we've got. Lovely. Soil looks really good too. That's great. Look at all these eggs here on the top. I'll just bury them under. They'll just add to that bed even more. Plenty of nutrients for whatever grows in here next. Okay, let's go. I can't say I'm too sad about this. Look at them. They are really good quality potatoes. You know what, overall I'm pretty happy with the result. I reckon the eggs do work. I could even maybe put more, maybe up it by about a third, but I'm gonna keep experimenting and seeing how eggs that would otherwise perhaps go to waste can be used as a nutritious and effective fertilizer in the garden for all types of plants and particularly veggies and just also helping that bed, even the worms and the microorganisms, keeping that soil alive and well and rejuvenated. I think it's a, it's a thumbs up from me. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big egg potato thumbs up, share it around because that helps the channel out heaps. And subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now. Quack, quack. Yeah, happy. Happy with that. Good result.